Learn about how to design a 3-bit synchronous down counter. In the previous video, we saw how to design a 3-bit synchronous up counter. First, let us see what are the university questions related to this topic. Design a 3-bit synchronous down counter using JK flip-flop. Draw the state diagram of a 3-bit synchronous down counter. Draw the logic diagram of a counter that can count from 7 to 0. And design a counter with 8 states and which can count in backward direction. For all these questions, you can find the answers here. If you are not thorough with 3-bit synchronous up counter, please refer to the previous video and come because the down counter is similar to the up counter except there is a slight modification. Any 3-bit synchronous counter will have the same number of flip-flops whether it is up counter or down counter. If it is a 3-bit counter, you need 3 flip-flops for its operation. So we have taken 3 bits. So this is a down counter. You see here first 7 is there. Then it comes to 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, again 0. So after 0, it should come back to 7. So this is down counter. So it is just opposite to the up counter. In up counter, what we will do? After 0, 1 will come. And then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, it will come. And after 7, we will go back to 0. But here, it is just opposite. So it start with 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Again, from 0, it should go to 7. So this is the major difference between up counter and down counter. So here also we have the same 8 states. So this counter is also called as mod 8 counter. So 3-bit synchronous counter in general it can be called as a mod 8 counter because it has 8 states. Whether it is up counter or down counter we can call it as a mod 8 counter. So this is the state diagram of a 3-bit synchronous down counter. You see here it starts with 7 or you can also start with 0. So after 0, 7 should come. If 7 comes, it is a down counter. If 1 comes, it is a up counter. So you see the arrow direction. After 0, 7 is coming. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So this is the sequence or this is the state diagram of a 3-bit synchronous down counter. Next, we are going to use JK flip-flop. You can also use other flip-flop, D flip-flop or T flip-flop also. So whatever flip-flop you take, you take the truth table. For JK flip-flop, the truth table is when J and K both are 0, there is no change in the output. When J is 0, output will reset and when J is 1, output will set. And when both the inputs are 1, output will toggle. So this feature we are going to use to design the 3-bit down counter. So let's start to design a 3-bit synchronous down counter using JK flip-flop. So using JK flip-flop, it is very easy and it is just similar to the up counter. So let us take three flip-flops A, B and C. So like in the previous case, while writing the table, you have to take the LSB will be here, MSB here. But while drawing the logic diagram, LSB comes first and MSB here. And you see the table 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So the table should be in reverse order for down counter. So first step is designing the flip-flop A. You see here, it is 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. So alternatively, it is changing. It means that QA, A flip-flop is changing its state in every clock pulse. So what we can do is tie the J and K together to 1 so that the output of the flip-flop will toggle in every clock cycle. So you will get this type of output. So take J, uh, first flip-flop, A flip-flop, tie J and K equal to 1. 
So the output you get here will be 1. Next clock cycle it will become 0. Again 1, 0, 1, 0 you will get it. Next we will design the flip block B. So you check here what should be the output of flip block B. 2 1s are here then 2 zeros, 2 1, 2 zeros. So now we need to find a relation between QA and QB. So when this QA is 0, this is changing its state. And here 0, it will change its state from 0 to 1. And when QA is 0 again, it is changing the state. So QB is changing its state only when QA is 0. So we can see that in up counter you will get this uh, state change will occur when QA is 1. So here it is QA equal to 0. That is the main difference. So what we can do is instead of connecting this QA, um, QA to JK flip flop, we are going to connect QA bar because when QA is 0, QA bar will be 1. So let, let us connect this QA bar to J and K of the second flip flop. So whenever this is high, this B flip flop will toggle. What we want is whenever QA is 0, this flip flop should toggle. So in, instead of QA, you take QA bar because when QA is 0, QA bar will be 1. Next, let us design the flip flop C. So third flip flop, you see four ones and four zeros are there. So it is changing its state here. So we can see that when these two inputs are 0, 0, this is changing its state. Similarly here also, when QA and QB are 0, it is changing its state. So the same logic, you take QA bar and QB bar and give us the input for the next flip flop. So you are using an AND gate so that when both the inputs are 1, this AND gate will give you a high output. So it is just opposite to the up counter. So first go through the up counter so that you will understand easily. It is very similar to the up counter. So we have easily designed a 3-bit synchronous down counter. So let us draw the timing diagram. This is the clock pulse which is a negative falling edge. Uh, the flip-flop will be activated. So QA, you see, it is alternatively plus uh, that is 1 and 0, 1 and 0. So every clock pulse, it has to change its state. So you see here, it is 1, 0, 1, 0. It keeps on changing for every clock pulse. Then if you see QB, it is high for two clock cycles, then 0. Then high, 0. So you can see here, it is high, then 0, high, 0. So we have drawn for QA and QB. Next, we have to draw for QC. So for QC, it should be high for 4 cycles. Then it will be 0. So high for 4 cycles and it will be 0. So this is a down counter. So if 0 is there, after 0, what will come? 7 should come. Okay. So, so 1 is here. So 0, 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So after 0, what is coming? 7, then 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Again, after 1, it should come to 0. So this is the sequence. This sequence, it should come. So now, we will see what is the slight modification in the up counter and down counter. So this is the up counter. You can refer to the previous video for how to design an up counter. Here, QA and QB are connected to the AND gate and which is the output of the AND gate is connected to the third flip-flop, C flip-flop. Okay, so this is the up counter, synchronous up counter, which can count from 0 to 7. Now, the same counter, if I want to uh, count from 7 to 0, what is the modification we have to do? Instead of QA and QB, I am going to connect QA bar and QB bar to the AND gate and connect that 
direct output to JK of the C flip flop. So by this way, you can make the counter to count in the reverse direction. So only a slight modification will be there. Otherwise, it is very easy to design a 3-bit synchronous counter. Not only 3-bit, you can in the same manner, you can design the 4-bit synchronous counter also, which will be uh, discussed in the coming videos. If you like the content, do subscribe to Read Electric Vehicle channel and if you want the PDF material for this um, PPT, the link is available in the description and if you have any doubts or if you want um, any other uh, topic, you can mail me at readelectricvehicle at gmail.com. If you want the complete explanation for this um, topic, you can refer to this website readelectricvehicle at wordpress.com so where the full details is given. Thank you.